Look out! Huh? Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. My humble greetings. See you later. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Is this enough? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. You can't just walk around in the dark. You have to have a light. It's the law. What, you have the gall to show your face here again? Bugger off! God preserve you. Good luck, then. Come 
hold up and take a look. Yeah. Yeah. God save. I'd like. So what? Get myself. I'm sure. You take care. I've got something for you. I hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you. I've got something that... All right. Thank you for the dress, Henry. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Home again. See you again. Yes. Yeah.
So? Let's see. You're still far. You'll need to get the tradesmen working better and creating space for... The church is still in ruins. We're on the right track. All right. Could you explain... How do I build... Ha First, find out how much it'll cost. Everything is written. You can check it all there. Sure. How to operate? Those are the words. And what if I don't have it? Then production. Watch out for that. The amount needed. So you should keep enough in the... And how do I pay the... Don't concern yourself about that. So I could put enough money there for... Indeed. All right. How can I get new people? Don't worry about that. Folk will graduate. Each building can house a certain number of... And the more space you have for them... What about trade? I can find you fairly competent ones. But if you can get... Although it's not all that easy to get... I see. Hmm. You could try asking the two Sasau armorers for a start. They're always at each other. But don't forget to get a forge and armory workshop set up for him. Right. I must give some thought to who else would come in hand. How do I... For every you sure? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Well, well, who's this yeah. coming here? I'll show what you're made of. Come on then. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Get the best right here. Yeah. Yeah. God save you, good night. What can I do for you? My friend, you're a trader. Help me out here. I'm after some quicksilver. Well, I've been there several times myself and come back empty-handed. They fobbed me off three times over. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. 
So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal with such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Just as you ordered. Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm taking the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. That's all I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting expensive. Why not? Show me what you have to offer. I'll be with you. Call me an ale. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Pfeiffer found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins and quicksilver for the alma... alma... Uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at As night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. God be with you. What can I do for you? God be with you. God watch over you, good night. Good luck, then. Thank you. 
for you like a little lass. Come and buy some. Telling us what to do. And what does it all come to? She takes it all back and apologizes. Ladies she ought to have minded her own business. Didn't you hear what the Inquisitor said? She repented and we should welcome her back. And we're not supposed to hold a grudge against her. She goes to the church in humility, like she's supposed to. Say what you like, but I saw right through her from the start, the strumpet. You're a strumpet yourself. You were fucking that savage behind your old man's back. You cow. And anyway, that ended a long time ago. A likely story. God grant you health. How may I help you? Do you make anything out of copper, Master? I do a bit of damascene decor sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheets. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zach from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. He's brought up all the copper to be had around here anyway. What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sassau? Depends which ones you mean. In the town there's Mikesh. He's a decent man and an honest craftsman. And in the yard by the monastery there's Zack. But there's not many good words I can say about him. Tell me something about Mikesh. Like I said, he's an honest craftsman. Which isn't something you can say about every blacksmith in town. What about the monastery blacksmith, Zack? Well, him and me don't exactly see eye to eye. He wanted to buy my business, but I turned him down. Ever since then, he hasn't had a good word to say about me. That'll be all. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Good luck then. I'm honored that a knight such as Good boy. and remarkable remedy. God save you, good night. What can I do for you? Take care.
God's blessings. Uh, what can I do for you? Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zach from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? <laughs> There's too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zach. There was a forge in the craftsman's yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And then, apart from me, there's Master Armourer Otter of Rabstein. Tell me more about Zack. Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a Master Armourer in Prague one day. My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armourer in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armourer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots and that his son will see him off. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. That will be all. Thank you. See you later. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? God be with you. God be with you.
I'd be with. I'd like to... So what are you in? Proper bar. I'm sure you... Goodbye. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Good luck, then. God grant you health. How may I help you? Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why do you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you'd best go elsewhere. I never use copper. That's not what I heard. What? I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmiths' copper. I'm being made a fool of yet again, it seems. Anything else? I still have work to do. What can you tell me about the Sassau blacksmiths? Well, there's Mikesh. He's honest enough. And a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old. And too proud to admit it. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Aha. Uh -huh. The swordsmith from the town said he was after the pieces of a sword from some Queen of Sheba. A pilgrim was selling them a while back. I know he's after those, but he's out of luck. He should have bought it while he had the chance. I still have mine on me. It brings me good fortune, and I shan't sell it. Not even... <laughs> Not even for a king's ransom. Good luck, then. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Do you have any Quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. 
It's that I can't. Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. It's not. I'm not. Oh, shit. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapota, a scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what? Did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Very well. Thank you. Good luck, then. Yeah. Why are you just sitting around? Why not? Admiring the view. People just do not appreciate a lovely view these days. Does the name Rapporta ring any bells for you? Rapotter, you say? Rapporta. Hmm. Nope, I can't hear any bells ringing at all. Look, you little jester, I'm investigating a crime against the king on the direct orders of Sir Radzik. Are you really going to keep pretending you don't know anything? Hang on. What's all this about a crime against the king? I'm just keeping an eye on things. When a wagon comes in, I'll make sure nobody robs it. I get a commission for that. That's it. See? That didn't hurt a bit. Bit of friendly advice. You're wasting your time here. Rapid to Scarpet and won't be coming back this way anytime soon. You might as well pack up and go home. What? The bastard owes me a dozen groschen. Damn it. Now what? Well, no use hanging around here anyway. In any case, thanks for the information. I could have been stuck here for weeks.
Bye. Yeah. Yeah! I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'd like to buy some... You want to buy... That's what I said. I'm in charge of renewing the... Vi well, I never. So... Looks like it. Well, it's all the same. Uh, I'll need fodder for horse and wheat for the baker. He'll have to... I can arrange that. Only you'll have to put a share back into the Sassau coffers. To... I understand. Have you got someone to try... Uh, actually, I don't have anyone... All right, do that. Then... <laughs> Greetings. What do you need? You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want it to know that I'm in town. Right. So what have you found out so far? I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right, it was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical explanation. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. Have you been there to have a look around? I have, but I didn't find anything interesting. And have you found out who's behind it? Someone called Rapata. Not much, but it's a start. At least it's not a common name. Listen, Henry, I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard, Master Engraver Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. he never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well, I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think of something. That's all. God be with you. Yeah. Yeah. 
God save you. How goes the work, Master? Getting there, getting there. You need something, my boy? What are you doing here, anyway? You're in an engraver's shop, my boy. We're engraving, of course. Yeah, but engraving what? And what's it used for? Oh, we engrave wood and stone as well as metal. Here in the monastery, it's mostly about decoration. You've got quite a large workshop, Master. You don't do all the work alone, surely? I'm usually here with my apprentice, Florian. Of course, by simple observation, you'll note that this is not currently the case, and I'm here alone, which means that either I'm a liar or something out of the ordinary has occurred. Um, I see. I think... So what's happened to Florian? He shares the fate of the pharaohs for today. The fifth scourge of Egypt did smite him. The plague. Or so his message advised me. Jesus Christ, the plague. Do remain calm. I'm quite certain the plague from which Florian is suffering wasn't a judgment from on high. Or if it was, it was a judgment on excessive drinking. I'm told such an ailment can be of truly biblical proportions. What's he like, your apprentice, Florian? I'm afraid that his exuberant youth has taken its toll. He's been acting strangely of late. I fear he has delusions of persecution. I don't really know what you mean, at all. Recently, for example, he told me that someone was following him. And the very next day he bought a padlock from the blacksmith and locked up his chest. As though I would ever sneak into it. In any case, why the interest? Are you looking for him? Something like that. May I ask why? I have a message for him. A message? Who would be interested in that maestral? Other than his furious and deeply disappointed master, of course. About your question, you'll find him at home. No doubt feverishly dying. He sleeps in the baker's cellar. Ah, thank you. Does Florian have any enemies? A man such as he certainly owes money at every turn, and the parents of local girls are undoubtedly displeased with his attempts to propagate. However, most recently it was that fury from the baths who accosted him in quite a spectacular rage. A woman from the baths? What did she do? The harpy nearly tore all Florian's hair out. I don't frequently feel sorry for my ne'er-do-well apprentice, but on that occasion I made an exception. Do you have any idea why she did it? She was screaming about some girl, some flighty bathmaid, Esther. I would say that Florian had felt the joys of spring and acted accordingly, although one would have thought they'd be used to that sort of thing at the bathhouse. Thank you. I'll leave you to your work. Good luck, then. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. Poor girl. I shudder to think what's become of her. What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams. So I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he wises up, he'll get the girl back. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the monastery craftsman's yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is in the cellar he rents from the baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. What did the bailiff make of it? Don't even get me started on that. He's another fine... I won't say what. I told him everything, but he says he won't do nothing about it. How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. Poor girl. It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. I raised her and taught her and gave her a job, and now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Take care. Greetings. What do you need? God be with you.
Uh, hmm, are you looking for someone? What? What do you want? You've no business here. Ah. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? See you later. I'm honored that you should come to me. You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. And what do you want from me? Straight to the point then, all right. I've been investigating counterfeit money and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rapporteur mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know, maybe? Don't bother, I know you know him. You make the punch dies for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Do you know where their workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, just accusations. It's got something to do with that girl, hasn't it? How do you know? That doesn't matter. No, I suppose not. I didn't want to get involved, I swear. Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. Who is Esther? My girl, of course. That scum took her right out of the bathhouse. I'm sorry about that. Me too. Listen, I'll tell you everything, I promise. But only if I know that Esther's safe. So I'm to go searching for her in the woods? I know where they're keeping her. But nobody will help me. 
And what can puny little me do face with those strapping great villains? Very well. I'll bring back your Esther. Really? Yes, but then you have to tell me everything. I will. I swear to God Almighty. Please, just bring her back to me. Nothing else matters. Where are they keeping her? In the Scallet's Hills. There are some abandoned cottages around the mines. That's where I saw her last. They took me there when I said they had to let me speak to her. All right. I'll go there and try and think of something. You're my saviour. Don't get your hopes up. Anything can happen. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah!
Yeah. 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 Looks like they smashed things up nicely. What's going on now? What have we got here? Entertainment. Oh, great! What's going on there? I'll kill you! 
What's that? Hey, who's there? The answer to my prayer. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. This is in surprisingly good condition.
Guess those bastards didn't want to get soaked. Seems they had a good go at wrecking this, but it's still standing. What do you want? I'm here by order of Sir Radzig and Master Fayfar. And who are you? I... who am I? I'm keeping guard here so no rogues get in to steal the silver. That's very commendable. I'll take you to Master Fayfar so he can reward you. But I... I can't go anywhere. Who would stand watch if I left my post?
Hey, you there! What have you done? Me? It wasn't me. It must have been one of your lot pushed him down the shaft. If you hadn't come sniffing around, none of this would have happened. What's my being here got to do with it? What the fuck's been going on? Whatever it is, now you've got a murder to answer for. Only if someone finds out... Listen, neighbours, don't be stupid. You don't want to add another murder to the Count. It could have been an accident. You know that was no accident. Or maybe you came to blows, pushed him down, and then we had to stop you. That's ridiculous. If you all clear off out of here, I promise nobody will be asking what happened. Why add to your troubles? Hey! Where are you going? You're not going to abandon us, are you? Not after all the good times we've had together? Don't you remember how we took care of everyone? Hey! Look what's come crawling out from under some rock. It's got to... 
cost you your life! Answer to my prayers. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Uh, uh. <laughs> Is someone there?
turns up willingly for the slaughter. <laughs> 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 What's that? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Alarm! Quitting? away from here. They won't hurt you now. However did you find me? Florian told me where they took you. I'm a fool. I thought he was just a dandy, God knows why. And it turns out he's a villain in league with thieves. And a coward too. This whole time he knew where I was. You're right. If I were him, nothing could have stopped me coming for you. Exactly. What a pathetic coward. We should probably set off. I'll go with you. I'd hate to lose you on the way. What's that? Do you want something? Go! God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I found that Esther of yours. I know. Back already. How can I ever thank you? By telling me all about the goings-on with Rapita. They found me in the tavern one evening. Caught me when I went to the ship pile. And they started to badger me about working for them. They? Yes. Rapita. And a night they called Sir Yezek. And then what? They explained what they wanted from me and I told them to sod off. I'm guessing that didn't go down too well. It wasn't all that bad. They just threw me on the dung heap and left. I thought it was just a drunkard's joke. But then they took Esther. Why didn't you tell anyone? At first I took it for a bad joke. And then, when they snatched Esther, there was nothing to be done. Where will I find Rapata? He's usually wherever I am. What does that mean? He watches me. Everywhere I go. And when I'm at home, he sits on the bench in the square, watching my house. So he's there now? Hard to say. Sometimes I see him in the tavern on the green, buying supplies. All right. At least I know where to start. 
And you go to work tomorrow, you hear? Why? Because we have to lure him out. And besides, your master will surely be glad to see you. I have my doubts. I suppose I'd better go. I'd hate the bastard to get away. Good luck, and thanks for the help. God be with you. Greetings, good night. Take care. Are you Rapporteur by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Um, all right then, what do you want? I know that you spy on Florian. I know you were involved in the kidnapping of the bathmaid, and I know why you're doing it all. Ah, uh, it seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That, that will be the best solution. So? Uh... Let's leave it for another time. Oh, that dog just won't do what I want. God be with you. I could do with a bite to eat. He's run off again. I give up! So, are you ready to talk? I will. I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it, and the workshop is inside. Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapota. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezhek? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, 
better Sir Yezhek than the Executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get Ronoff back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. Who is your lord? So Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's long gone. What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had descendants. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Jobst rounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge of the domain. So who's Sir Yezhek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. Sir Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? In the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. I think I've heard enough. Can I ask you something? Yes? I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I prefer you just kill me here and now. Ah, you're not worth tainting my sword with your blood. Now get lost before I change my mind. Greetings. What business have you? I'm here about the mine. Excellent. So what did you find out? It's been plundered and wrecked, but everything can be fixed. It'll be quite a job, but at least it won't have to be rebuilt from scratch. That's a weight off my mind. And did you see anyone there? Thieves or suspicious types? Nemoy and his gang were stealing silver there. The vermin! I thought as much. Did you bring him here? Well, I tried to, but he was having none of it. He didn't want to burn, so he tried to kill me. Well, I'm glad he didn't succeed. But now I won't be able to find out anything. Oh, well. Can't be helped, I suppose. About my reward for the investigation. Yes, of course. Actually, I don't believe any reward was mentioned. On the other hand, you've surveyed everything as I asked, and that deserves a brush or two. And they tried to murder me. Yes, of course. 
It's a sad world we live in. I'm sure you deserve a little extra coin for it. It's been a pleasure. Good. There you go. A nice little sum. Thank you. Enjoy it in good health. Take care. Hey. Lean, fatty, marbles, meats of all kinds. Look what I've got for you. You'll love God save. How may I help you, good night? I'm interested. And what is it you... Proper bath. I'm sh good luck. God's Let's have a word about the... Well... Satisfied? I'd almost shake. All right, sir. Yeah. Have you picked anything yet? God save you, good night. Thank you.
I finally found out where the Forger's workshop is. Master Feyfar was right. The Forger's are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give it. Lead on.
Jesus Christ. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. 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 Ah. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason. My master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? Master Feyfa recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen. Please, please, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. Let's go. Master Feyfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. Yeah!
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. If I were you, I wouldn't question Sir Radzik's orders. Give me the key. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Fresh from the oven. Come and get them. I hope I... See you later. Garlic, carrots, beet tree, onion. All that grows in the ground. Fresh. Come right to our flowers. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Well, I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. 
It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sasau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps, you're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sasau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority.
So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Jezek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Jezek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I think I know where I could ask. I helped at the infirmary in Sasau, and there was a wounded man there by the name of Thomas, a suspicious type to say the least. He might know something. Good. I'd rather see you seeking out better company, but that can't be helped. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Jezek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. <laughs>